Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today, I'm going to show you guys how to restore database in Azure Data Studio via Docker, Linux, and Mac OS. So very simple. We're going to download the sample real quick. Um, I'm going to leave the link in the description and how to do it. First thing first, we're going to download Wide World Importer, Readme, and Sample in GitHub. Scroll all the way down to you see latest release. Click that. Scroll all the way to Wide World Importer, full back, full dot back. I'm just going to say back. <laughs> Anyways, after you download it, you're going to get a, the database. You're going to get the database itself. I'm going to put it in as simple as terms as possible, make it as easy as possible. Um, this is one of the most confusing things that I came into this so far. Anything I'm confusing, I'm going to make a video and be able to teach it. So cool. So we have wide world and poor. So we have the database. So I created a folder for it. So make sure when you get this folder or when you get this, um, Whatever you want, whatever database you download, create a folder for it. So you can be able to just keep them there easily whenever you have to implement it to Docker. Second step, you don't have to touch this yet. You don't have to touch restore. And if you don't know how to get here, you're going to click localhost manage. And then you should be able to see this and click restore. I'm not going to touch it right now because it's not there yet. So just to double check, we're going to double check backup file. We're going to click the three dots. And we see if we go down to Microsoft backup, it's not there. It's legit. So there's no way to do it unless you're on the command line. Um, it, it's the easiest way for Mac OS and Linux. All right. So we have that. We have our problem. So we, our problem is that we cannot back up to that, that database or restore to that database. So I'm using Azure Data Studio, by the way, just in case. I'm using Docker to run my, um, my Microsoft server. So all you gotta do is this. So you're gonna click right here, which is the command line of Docker and the local host, which is the terminal. Click that. Okay. So now we have this shell. So we have, this is Docker. I'm not sure why the other terminal didn't appear. Let me grab another terminal real quick, my apologies. Cool, so we have local host, and we're just gonna clear the screen on both, just to make it easier to read. Cool. All right, so we have localhost and we have Docker. Awesome. And we have the name of the, the container. You have to have the name of the container to be able to run this smoothly and quickly. So we know where our folder is. Our folder is in a file that we created. So all you gotta do is on the terminal, before we do anything, we're gonna create a file in Docker. So I already created a file, but I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do it. So in Docker, Docker has the, has the number sign, we're gonna do, uh, we're going to do list and we're going to see that we're going to uh, cd to var list cd to backup actually i'm sorry let's go back so we're going to go back real quick my apologies so let's go to word document i'm going to have this listed as easily as possible you're going to create this file you're going to create var op microsoft slash backup and the way you do it is with the first command right here um, so you're going to put this into your terminal, your local host terminal, and you're going to go to root and you're going to create a file in here. I already created a file. Um, I could delete it, but slash bar slash op slash Microsoft SQL. Oops. Cool. Oops. Oh, no. Did I do it wrong? CV, you know, let's just copy and paste that. Make it a lot easier. So, boom. Make it a lot easier. I like, I like to make, I like to make the job easy. I don't, I don't like to make it hard. So there's nothing, there's nothing in this file. But you have to create this file. So the first thing you'll do is this: you'll create the file in Docker, so you can be able to put that database. Second, now we need to import. We need to copy this file that's in the localhost to to Docker. So the way to do that is let's go in root. So first thing first, go root. Boom, I'm root, make sure I'm root. Perfect, list, let's go back, list, go back, list, all right, cool. So now we need to get to this folder. So the folder I created, um, it's here, it's a DB and it's in my main. So we need to get there. So we're gonna um, click list, we're gonna CV into um, users, CV into my name. Oh, it's not letting me do it. Okay. Go to air. Okay, list. CV uh, desktop. Wow, my 
type it in there. Desktop slash main slash DB. Perfect. List. Awesome. We see it's right there. So all you got to do is do this. You're going to copy it to Docker. So actually, I'm sorry. Let me just drag this all the way right here. Perfect. Boom. That's it. So now when we go into Docker itself, when we click list, we have it. That's all you need to do. So after you do that, after you, you um, did that step, I'm going to write this in detail for the people that um, need it written down. So we transferred that file to Docker. We're going to close this up. Close this up. Minimize, minimize, minimize. Open up Azure. And discard. Got to do it again. Refresh it. Go to backup. Go to SQL. I'm sorry, no, no, I'm sorry. You go here, Microsoft. Backup, there it is. Click OK. We're going to do it on master. I'm going to do it on master, restore. So now it's restoring that, that database. That's all. Very simple, but um, a little tedious if you need to see it visually. Like I said, I'm going to leave it um, in detail as possible and make it e easier to, to be able to, to, to understand it. I appreciate anybody that watches this. Um, Hopefully you, you, you join me on my SQL journey. Um, I really enjoyed playing around with SQL. Um, and hopefully I get a career in this soon. Thank you.